I want to introduce you to my good friend, Jeff Kale. Jeff, thank you for coming on. Yeah, it's great to be here. Yes, I love it. So Jeff is actually um, a top trainer um, and um, web developer, all things tech. He works for uh, a lot of the top brokerages, Keller Williams International, top, top brokerages, builds websites for them, does tons of tech for them. And he and I um, recently have been talking about how important Google is and really how important it is to uh, generate leads while you sleep. So yesterday we had another Google class and you talked a little bit about ads, but I want you guys to really, really pay attention. And Jeff's going to tell you exactly why you need to be paying attention to this and why it's critical um, that you understand Google. So Jeff, thanks for coming on. Thank you for all of your help. You're such a servant leader. And I know that um, your heart is just here to serve. So, and then the last thing is you guys, in while you guys are like going through this, you're going to go. That's really awesome. Like, I'm not trying to get a marketing degree. Um, how do you do this? It sounds easy and amazing. Jeff has an offer that's $99 to help you set everything up. I always recommend, like, if you're not going to do it and do it right, it's the best money ever spent. So Jeff's going to talk about that after he gives you tons of value bombs. So Jeff, welcome and tell us a little bit about yourself and where you live. Let's see. I am Jeff Kale. I, um, gosh, I'm from Southern California. Uh, I have been, yeah, exactly. It's freezing here. <laughs> Where's everyone from, by the way? Where are you guys from? I'm very interactive, Tanya. Yeah, I love so, that. That's why I tell Asheen, people, where are you from? Amazon. Susan, where are you from? You could type it in there, I guess. Susan's from Colorado. She's Colorado. Horse Ooh, farm. Gold there too, huh? Right. She has horses on her her house at her house out her front door. Awesome. Awesome. Afshin's in Houston. In Houston. Yes. Nice to meet you guys. Michelle awesome. is in Florida and Tampa. Um, oh, I don't know about this, Michelle. Uh, maybe Georgia. So type in where you guys are from. Yeah. And real quickly, you guys, he said he's very interactive. And that's why I say be on camera because you have a world mm -hmm. renowned coach right now that will answer your questions. But the people that are on camera and the people that are engaged is going to, you guys are going to get free coaching. That's yeah. why I always say hop on these because Jeff charges for his time. He's not I charging. Charge a, right I charge an obscene amount of money, by the way, too. I do want to let you know that. So yeah. <laughs> You know, but 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 I get results, and and so here's the thing, guys. I've been doing this a long time. So since well, 2008, got into real estate. I have an IT background, and you know, I'll tell you more about that as we go through it. But basically, I've never really done any traditional lead generation. All mine's on the internet, and I go to sleep at night. I wake up, I have leads, whether they whatever kind of leads they are, and I do this for other businesses too, mostly in the real estate sector. And, and I love what I do. I love coaching and recruiting and all that kind of fun stuff. So, yeah. So, th yeah. So that's and for all y'all that aren't going to pick up the phone, and I can see many of you guys that aren't or won't, this is where you need to pay attention. Yeah. The, and, and the other thing is, too, I, um, I, everything that I teach is organic lead generation, just to let you know. So, there's a, a, you know, a number of ways to generate leads, right? Traditional ways. By the way, when I go through my presentation, it's all about internet. But but the best way to generate leads of high quality is people to face to face, people to people. This is just one way to generate leads. So um, when I show you these things, it's actually pretty cool. Like I don't, the leads all come to me, but do the traditional things. They still work the best. It's a higher quality lead when you know, work in your sphere and all that kind of thing. Um, so one of the things I'm going to do for y'all is just kind of think about this. I'm going to choose one person here as I go through this, and we're going to evaluate your Google presence right here online live. So for anyone that's daring, I leave that to you. So if they're not, and, you can always look at mine. There, there we go. So should we go ahead and start? Are we good? Or how much time do I have? I never asked you that. Uh, you have till the top of the hour. You have okay. uh, one. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and can I do I have share the share yes, thing? You do. We do. Cool. Okay. One second here. Let me kick this off here. 
Okie dokie. Let's see what we got going here. All right. Can you see my screen okay? Give me a thumbs up. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Cool. So this is generating leads while you sleep. Again, I'm Jeff Kale. And, you know, generating leads while you sleep and, and uh, abbreviated GLWYS <laughs> is the ability to go to sleep at night and wake up and have leads. And when I, when I say this, we all get sold a bill of goods. Oh, by the way, I hope you can deal with blunt and direct like New York East Coast. Uh, I'm not we, familiar with yeah, We would not have it any other way. Like, Stop I it to us. It <laughs> we, we hear the biggest BS ever. You know, people telling us, buy this, do this, do that, whatever. And a lot of it's just smoke and mirrors. You know, you end up buying leads and all that. This stuff really works. And the, the best part is it's all free. You don't have to spend any money. So short uh, generating leads while you sleep story. It started with me working for a major public corporation in IT. This is me at one of our data centers uh, in the nation. Now, I would never mention the name of the company that I work for, but I would tell you they worked me like a dog. And when I say they worked me like a dog, I had to beg like a dog for paid time off. And I was very fortunate that I got laid off and pretty much lost everything. And I thought it was the worst day of my life. And then uh, a friend said, hey, why don't you uh, get a career in real estate? And I jumped into real estate in 2008. Was anyone else in real estate here in 2008? I was and I had 14 houses and I lost everything but one. Okay. You know what? It's the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. And, and you know, that's where I find out. Sometimes when you, when you got something that goes on bad, like when I lost that job, I thought it was horrible. So I get started in 2008. Everyone is leaving. The, the real estate agents were leaving the business. You couldn't get financing. And so my very first week, my team leader says to me, go door knocking. And I went with a woman. We were terrified. <laughs> it was really bad. And we knocked 200 doors. And I said, never again. Now, when I say that, yes, it works. We get it all works. But for me, I never did it again. And so <laughs> I, I, I learned from that. And so I learned what I call digital door knocking. And digital door knocking is just like door knocking. I want to make this point clear. Everything that I'm going to show you, it works. You do have to put into it. It's not like a magic bullet. But if you just put the effort in, if you've done door knocking, you're not you know, going to necessarily get leads day one. But if you work a farm and do door knocking six months later, it's going to pay off. It's the same thing here. Um, so digital door knocking is what I call this, 17 homes. And so what happened is I, I didn't, you know, I'm new to real estate. Everyone's telling me like I was getting all these awards. I had no idea why people were selling like, like next to nothing. And, and they said, hey, can you show me what you're doing? And then I got really got into teaching back then. Uh, I actually put a trademark on generating late, generating leads while you sleep. So that's trademarked, um, you know, by me and for training and all. And so this is a system that really works. And so, so here's the deal. We're all part of these Facebook groups and focus groups. I'm going to tell you something, guys. Uh, it's not just me that knows about this. There are agents that know about this that are doing this. And you will never find them sharing this information in lab code or any of the, they're just not sharing it because they don't want to create the competition for themselves. I don't sell real estate. So I sell my leads to other agents. So, you know, I'm, I'm out here. I'm not like competing with anyone. So I'm sharing the things that they will not share, but there are people that are doing this and, and it works and they're making a ton of money by being found on the internet. So I'm going to reveal one key secret to you today, like to keep things really focused, and that's going to be on your Google business profile. And that's just one, one way to, uh, to generate leads while you sleep. So what we're going to cover is a funnel hub strategy. The funnel hub strategy is really a schematic of how everything should be connected for you, for your real estate business on the internet. I'm going to go into Google profile best practices and then how to set up your Google business page if you don't have one. 
Now, Tanya, well, let's go ahead and ask a question here. So, is there anyone here that does not have a Google business profile set up? Just go ahead and like, there you go. Okay, Susan, I only see four people on my screen, so. Mm, no, where there's 12 people. In oh, here. you know what? It's probably this little laptop. Hold on, let me pop it on over here. Okay. Another question people are going to have, they're going to say, I have one set up and then I have another business. And so eventually maybe you can go into that because some people have two yeah, businesses. Yeah. yeah. So, and make sure and, you know, post your questions as we go through here too. So that, that would be great. So, all right. So that's what we're going to cover. And like I said, going into this, when we get into Google best practices, I'm going to be actually evaluating, you know, one of your setups. So um well, let me drag this out of the way here all righty okay so this is a real estate whoops let me go back one this is a real estate lead funnel and so what is a lead funnel a lead funnel it's a customer journey or a, a, you know a, a potential client journey and they're going to start at the top of the funnel which is right here where you're generating awareness about your business on the internet. And so there's many ways to generate awareness. You can do the traditional uh, you know, things that we do as real estate agents. From a digital perspective, to fill this funnel, I'm gonna be talking about Google and, and primarily your Google business page, but you can also be found through blogging, through social media. And so you're generating awareness out here at this stage. The next level, down the funnel is once they get to your website or it could be your social media, you have to give people a compelling offer in order to convert them, that is to turn a visitor uh, you know, into, into an actual lead, okay? So this conversion, when I talk at the second level, that's on your digital presence, okay? That's not you converting them, right? Having the conversation. This is right here, basically at this level, you wanna get them to give you at the very basic, their first name and email address so you can reach out and contact them. Okay, so this is super important. What you do here is really important. So tip, I'm gonna tell you, you wanna give an item of value. It's a big deal. I use lead magnets in absolutely everyone, everything. I have, I don't know if will this show here. Yeah, this will show here. This is a, uh, an ebook that I have that I give away. I have just a gazillion different kinds of ebooks that I give away for different things. And what I do is I don't send an ebook out. I print a copy that I show people like I'm showing you. It says Google, you guys, it goes, it's going oh, right there. Put it in front of your face. Put it right in yeah, front of your right. face, right there. <laughs> it's good. Oh my gosh. Any case, it's an ebook. Uh -huh. e I print it out but you wanna show it. And so th this is what I do. So like a home value report, don't just tell them, but put in like a picture of it. This is what you're gonna get. You could do it in a video as well, okay? So- By the way, um, do you teach um, classes on simple e uh, lead magnets? Cause you know, there's tons of social media courses and everybody's like, how do I do a lead magnet? And how do I do oh, a yeah, TV yeah. core? And like, how do I create it? And I think once you set it up, you could just, duplicate it and put a new photo do you do anything on that yeah absolutely i do a ton ton of lead magnets we build lead magnets for people as well so um yeah we can talk about that for for future for sure so so right here you're converting and then here nurture close this is where you're engaging in a conversation with them okay so this is a lead funnel so what we're going to be talking about is the top end of the funnel right here which is the, the Google business page. And then we might have time to get into a little down here. Alrighty, so let's go on. And this is your digital footprint. You guys should take a picture of this for sure. This is how you should be setting up your business on the internet. Your website should be the core of your business. So whatever website you have, it should be the core of your business. You should be creating value for your clients. Okay. And I, by the way, I evaluate websites all day long. Um, most websites are awful. I'm saying like 99% are, are really bad. And here's what I hear. I hear, I've heard it for the years. 
my website is dead. My website is dead. I don't get leads from my website. And by the way, it's most likely true because you're not using it properly. Create in uh, create in uh, a value offer for people. Okay. And Jeff, most people here actually have KV Core, and yeah. it has it. Your KV yeah. Core is your website, you guys. And you have the ability to do blogs and all of that kind of stuff. There you go. So 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 take that what it right with the KV Core, and and you know offer like if you're let's say you're trying to to work with a home seller give them a i'm going to give you a home value report i'm going to give you a free ebook i'm going to give you a free you know um whatever what, what do you call it? a staging you know cons consultation you know build that package together and put it in this form a visual make a visual and build a page on your kv core website like that you're going to get a lot higher conversion so what you want to do is what I'm trying to say is you want to drive people here and that's to do one of three things, phone, email, or text. That's it. And, and let me just tell you something. Okay. I know it connects to CRM. I'm going to give you a big epiphany here or a big, <laughs> which this thing just drives me crazy. Where's my phone? My phone's put away. Hello, are you guys ready? The biggest conversion you have is pick up the darn phone. Nobody answers their phone anymore, anywhere. I moved last year. I was looking for real estate in two states. Real estate agents didn't call me back. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't believe it. One called me back. I had an appointment with another one. They just didn't show up. It was like unbelievable. So what I do is once, once they call me, I don't want them on the tech. Get them off the tech. It doesn't matter if you have a CRM. Pick up a, pick up a phone and call them, right? I love it. Jeff, can I make um, a correction? Yeah, jump right Not in, a correction. Right? So a lot of these people do have KV Core, yeah. but you also, that is what you do. If they want a more interactive website and they want a website that's working for them, you do have a service for that, correct? Yes, absolutely. I, I need to tell you guys something too. I'm, I'm very transparent. So I'm not like all salesy, but we do have a whole pile of services. KV Core is great. I work with agents from all kinds of brokerages. We build something that's different if you want to stand out and have something different in it. By the way, you could use KV Core and one of our websites as well. So, um, so what we're going to be focusing on is your Google business page. And this is just one way to drive business here. You can also drive it right through all these other sources leading back to your website, okay? All right. So I have a question for you. If you were to go right now to Google and type real estate agents near me, what would come up? Would you come up in your own area? And I would, my guess is probably no one on this call is going to come up for free on Google. And you, you, can, you can try that here real quickly just for fun. Like I said, I do this all the time. Very few agents actually come up in their area. I come up in my San Diego area on number one. So um, let me keep moving on here as you guys kind of do that. Here's what, here's what it's all about. I'm gonna walk you through this. So you see this part right here? This is where I, I type real estate agents near San Diego, the top three here where it says Google screened, this is pay per click. Okay, this is uh, one way to get to page one of Google. It's not free. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with spending money on pay per click to get you quick results, right? But it's gonna cost you money. Um, the person that came in yesterday was probably teaching some of these things. Mine is all organic, but there's nothing wrong with this, okay? so. You're not trying to beat these. These are here because they're paid. Now I'm gonna scroll on down the page and watch what happens. As we scroll down the page, there are ads and then you see where it says businesses. Let me stop there. The top three Google business pages are here for free. This is what I'm teaching you to do, okay? This is a super big deal. And this is uh, the, the free Google tools and there, Google has lots of tools that are free, 
The Google business page is one of the most underutilized pages for real estate agents. And oh, by the way, for those agents who have their, their business pages set up, they're mostly all wrong or outdated. And I'm going to show you what to do to end up in the top three. Yeah, we learned some of that yesterday that Did you? what the errors and I was like, oh my gosh. So now you also want to pop up when you're in the top three, you could, you're going to also pop up on a map. And there's something, is everyone, everyone's here for EXP, right? 100%. Okay. I just want to make sure. So there, I'm going to give it to you straight. It's a challenge to end up on the map because you're virtual. We're going to dive into that. That's going to be a very big deal for EXP agents. Brick and mortar, it's easy to pop up over here. We'll, we'll bounce back to that in just a minute. Okay. But this is what I'm going to show you how to do. Uh, let's go ahead and move on. And so now we're going to get into actually setting up your Google business page. And I'm gonna walk you through that right now. This is live and interactive. If you can't do it all in one sitting, that's fine. You can finish it later, but at least you're gonna know how to do it and do it the right way. So we're gonna go into the, the, the best practices for your Google business page. You ready? Your name and brokerage, what should you put? Your name is your brand, okay? And whatever your name is, it should tie in with everything. It should be your website name, it should be your Facebook, it should all tie in and be exact. So if mine is, you know, Jeff Kale, you know, brokerage name, by the way, you don't have to put your brokerage name. However, if you put your brokerage name, you're writing on the coattails of your brokerage recognition. I put my brokerage name on pretty much everything because I write on their coattails. If you're a new agent, you might wanna put your name and then your brokerage, okay? No, don't make any long names, guys. I see a lot of people's like, oh my gosh, they do all this stuff. Like three, four words is about it. Otherwise it wraps and doesn't look good. Okay. Jeff, question here. Yesterday they were saying that we need to put the word real estate agent in our name. I, that sounds like it's a legal thing. I've never heard that. It's a, it, it, well, hold on. It, it sounds like it's a, for a legal reason. No, it's not. It wasn't a requirement. They're saying if you want to come up and be found, you put your name and like real estate agent or realtor. Um, and I know your brokerage is great, but what are your thoughts on that? And everybody, you guys, everyone's different, yeah. you know? <laughs> so I'm just asking that because I know that question's going to come up. I, I've never, I've never heard of that. It doesn't apply. I mean, we do this at a high level. I mean, I get it if someone's typing realtor, but you know, I'm going to tell you, I have a business partner who's like a Google freaking guru and he teaches things differently than me. I know how he teaches. It. And so we just have different opinions. I, I don't, it's not going to hurt you for sure. Um, but I don't think it's necessary. Now you're all scratching your heads. <laughs> it's okay. Don't, 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 I don't think it's a big deal either way. Basically, he said, it's not going to hurt you. <laughs> it's not going to hurt you. I, I know it's not going to hurt you because this is what I do. And I see it and people are popping up. You, if you do the things that I'm recommending here, you're going to pop up on it. And by the way, don't be changing the name around a lot. Okay, next, super important. This will be interesting since you just had someone here yesterday talking about some of this. Your location address, if you want to end up on the map, this is a very big deal for EXP agents. You, okay. Um, you don't have a brick and mortar at like at all. So you need to come up with a physical dress and it's a, I'm gonna tell you it's a challenge. There's no easy way around it. Um, you need a physical address guys. And should you use your home address? My opinion, never ever, especially if you're a woman, but even a guy, you know, you have something go wrong and they've got your home address. I don't think it's a good idea. You're going to show up on the Google map with your home address. No bueno. Don't do it. So because EXP has Regis yeah. uh, offices all throughout the country, mm. what if an EXP agent used a Regis address in, that's next to their house? Love it. All right, guys. Homework number one, besides all this, 
You guys need to find the closest Regis to your house and use that address. And here's the thing, that Regis address for some of you, it's going to be, maybe it's not in your farm area. I'm, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to work around that, okay? Okay. So basically, Google has made a lot of changes. I, I registered something to a, like a postal mailing address, all that. It's a, don't, don't waste your time. With that. It doesn't work anymore. Okay, so, um, and by the way, let me throw a couple other options. If you have a partner, like a, um, an escrow company that, you know, or some other business that will use their address, you can work out stuff like that. Google's changing all the time. As of last week, apparently they want you to physically be in that location to verify it. It's very interesting and they know where you are and they take a picture there. So there's some new verification um, that Google's just started using. So, but you want, you want to have a physical address and be on the map for sure. All right, so you're gonna get verified. They're gonna send either a postcard. Um, most likely it will be a postcard that they're gonna send to a physical address where they're gonna verify you. Okay, here's a big one. No punctuation, never. Do not do it. Don't put, if you're going to put realtor, gosh sakes, don't try and put the, the, you know, the registered sign in there or any of that kind of stuff. No hyphens between the name, none of it. Even if it's not grammatically correct, if you do it, it's not good. Okay. Your phone number, super important. I, I would make sure it's a textable phone number. I'm going to give you guys something really big. Some of you will do this. Some of you won't do it and it's okay. But I'm going to tell you what I'm about to reveal to you that nobody talks about. It, 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 it's, it's a pain to do this, but it will really boost your chances of getting to page one. And I'm going to tell you, I think it's totally worth it because the commission on even one sale will, will totally pay for this. Your phone number should be registered to your business name the exact name that you have in your Google presence and all your social media. Google verifies this and it will help you on your website. It will help you in so many ways and not many have it set up this way. Jeff, real quickly, I don't know if yeah. you know, your next animation slide is up. So I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if that's on purpose. It is? Mm-hmm. Mm, I don't see it. Uh, maybe I showed the wrong screen. Hold on one sec. That's okay. I just don't know if that is Let's intentional. See. Oh, well, there you go. How's that? Is that better? Boom. Well, it still says it doesn't. Oh, yeah, exactly. Now we okay. see the whole screen. It wasn't a problem. We just knew what was coming up next before you <laughs> told us what was next. And you guys, he usually does this in his house. Yeah. Um, and he's traveling. But I thought I'd let you know that. <laughs> Yeah, roll with me here, guys. I'm on a portable laptop. I'm not, don't use it that often. Okay, so you guys understand this on the phone number. So if my, if it was, you know, Jeff Kale, you know, realtor, it should be, that should be my business name, meaning on my phone number. That means you have to register it like with Verizon or whatever, right? A business account. And I'm just going to tell you, it will make all the difference in the world from a Google presence. And not many, not many do it, which is why I do it. All right. So enough on the phone number. Okay. So you, sh and we're going to go through this. You should make a call to action video under 30, 30 seconds or less. It's your elevator pitch. You're going to put that in your Google profile. Almost no one has it on there. Okay. Here's, here's how it goes. Hi, this is Jeff Kale. I'm your local real estate agent. If you're looking to sell a home, I can get you more money in less time with the least amount of hassle. That comes from Chris Heller, Tanya, in case you're wondering. And if you're looking to, if you're looking to buy a home, I can help get you a great deal. Okay, put that into your own words. And at the end of the video is your call to action. For more information, call or text now, and I'm emphasizing now, and I'll tell you why now, 
and put your phone number. When you tell people to call or text now, a lot more people call now. If you just say call or text and put your phone number, well, I'll get around to it. But by you putting in their mind to call now, more people will actually call you now. Funny how that works. We, we good on the, the, the call to action video and I'll show you how to upload that in a minute. So by the way, this CTA video that you're gonna put on your Google profile, you can use the same video for your YouTube presence as well and, and other areas on the internet. Your hours, you wanna set hours. Let's talk about this. There's different philosophies on the hours. My business partner teaches something completely different than, than I do. And they're both right. We're both. So I'm just going to give you my opinion on you can figure out to do what's best for you. I, I see a lot of virtual brokerages. They put 24 hours. Personally, I don't, I don't like that. It just makes it seem like you're sitting in, at home to, to me, like from a consumer standpoint. That's just my opinion on it. I would rather have business hours. And for gosh sakes, don't show closed on Saturdays or Sundays. I mean, you know, what can I tell you? <laughs> you know, if someone's, I see people that got it, like, you know, no Sundays. If you don't work, that's okay. Just don't put that down there. Because if you're going to lose someone, they come to you and they, they see, oh, they find something on, the, on one of a Redfin or wherever they find Zillow. And they, they get your name, it pops up. Oh, they're closed Sundays next. I went through this myself looking for, for stuff in my new hometown. Okay, so this is a big deal. Set them all seven days a week. Set your holiday hours. I'm going to give you another big clue. Once you get this set up, Google is going to email you from time to time, and they're going to say, hey, can you verify your hours? They just sent me that recently, last week. What are your Christmas hours? What are your this, that hours? Answer those questions. It shows that you're engaged with your business. We, these are the things that will help you get to page one in the top three for free. Okay, here's a big one. No one does this. You want to be in the top three? Add 100 to 150 images. Wow. Where are you going to do it? Is anyone wondering where you're going to get 100, 150? You all good? Yeah, I have them, but I have five, okay. 50,000 photos, but. <laughs> okay, so um, whatever office, blah, 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 that you have, any kind of EXP office picture you have would be great. A couple logos, okay? And every time you go and you do, you do take a listing and you have your signage out in front, you know, the kind that we're not allowed to put on the MLS, take a picture with your sign with your past clients in front of your sign in front and put your branding on as much as possible. You can do lifestyle pictures as well, but this is a very big deal that no one's, no one's really doing this. Our uh, people that we're training that are doing this end up on page one here pretty quickly. Okay. So question is, yep. do we upload 150 at once or over the course of time? How short should that be? What does that look like? Uh, upload them as fast as you can, as quickly as you can. So like if we do 50 in a day and 50 the next day and 50 yeah. the next day? Load it up. Get that up to 100, 150, okay? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And you guys, um, I always tell you guys, if you don't have signs, because a lot of them are new realtors, you should have a day where you're um, previewing open houses, you're previewing new listings. It should be your preview day. And when you're previewing, just take a picture outside of the house. There you go. Exactly. So it's really not hard to get it. Go, okay, in your area, do lifestyle. You can do lifestyle. Show signage, right? There's, there's always like some iconic signage or statue or whatever in every city. You can do stuff like that too. Well, they were also talking about yesterday being local, like, and tell me what you think about this, that if you have like your top five coffee shops, your top five restaurants, you could take a picture of the restaurant and be like, this is an amazing restaurant. Or if there's an event coming up, you can do like events. 
um, of the local area. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. And I'll show you a, 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 a different way to do it, but you can definitely put those kind of pictures here as well. Uh, link to your website goes without saying link, make sure and link to your website. An appointment link, big deal. Almost no one has an appointment link. You want to put that appointment link. It could be to a calendar link. If you don't have that, at least link to your contact page. These are, what we're doing is we're building out your Google business page. It's kind of like if you go 50% on it, you're not going to end up on the top three. So this is why you want to do all these things. Um, next, reviews. That goes without saying you need to collect reviews. We have some great ways to collect reviews, by the way. Um, but you want to collect reviews. And with that, when someone leaves you a review, you need to answer it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the kind words. Okay, now, for those of you that have had profiles for a while, don't go back. Like if they're seven months or something, don't, don't go back after, after this training and do it. Just do it on a go forward. Uh, next, and this is going to really address what Tanya just brought up. Almost no one does post Google posts. It's a way to be found on Google. So if you have an event like what you were just talking about, Tanya, oh my gosh, open house guys, start posting your open houses on here. The, these are the, all of the things that very few people are doing and the ones that are doing it end up in the top three. Um, Jeff, can I go back to 100 to 150 images? Yeah, with, absolutely. If, if we did uploaded videos, would those be qualified as images uh, or videos? Nah. Um, I mean, you could definitely upload more videos for sure, but you want to do the images. Okay. By the way, some of these things, uh, some of the things that I teach, Google says, I'm not going to say they don't... Actually, there's a couple of things I teach that Google says, don't do that. It doesn't work, but we know it works. <laughs> so it's interesting how, how that works. So the images we've tested, this has worked really well. Okay, ready? Make a giant note, OMG, go into your Google profile, service areas, mark your service areas. You'll, for those of you that don't have them set up, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through this in just a minute here. Service areas are any place where you want the chance to be shown on Google when someone types real estate agents near Austin, real estate agents near Dallas, Fort Worth, real estate agents. So you're gonna put all those cities in. Let me give you a big clue. What if there's cities you don't go to? Put them in. Why? referrals. Show up in as many places as possible. Okay, I'll show you where that is in just a moment. I see people with like three, four areas filled out. So if you have a page, go back in there and, and fill it all out. And, and I already kind of addressed this. Answer Google. Google will at, they're going to send you from time to time, hey, someone made a suggestion. If you let those go by, it just shows that you're not active and it works against you. These are all of the best practices for getting to page one of Google. So does anyone, does anyone wanna take a screenshot of this before I move on? Hold on. Um, and then Charlotte has a question too. So I wanna make sure that we get that question answered as well. Okay. I'm take this. Let's take Charlotte's question and then we're going to move on. I'm watching the time too. Oh, you're, you're muted. If you need to answer it offline because it's so specific and if you need to get through your presentation, then let's give, it a, you... let's give it a go. Okay. Um, 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 where's the question? Do you want me to read it? I've been using just my name, but my Facebook page is Atlanta Homes and Life, Atlanta Homes and Life. I have a video blog and newsletter that's Charlotte's Web of Atlanta Homes and Life. So it's going to change the brokerage to Charlotte's Web of Atlanta Homes and Life. Could you use some advice on what will work best? Okay, so your name should be your name. It should be the same across all platforms as your brand. 
that's what I can tell you about that. Meaning she should be using her last name in that because her last name's not in that. Well, wh whatever name you decide, and like, it doesn't matter what name you decide on. That's like a branding question, which I don't have time to get into, but your name should be consistent across all platforms on uh, absolutely everything. Okay. That's and then important. she also said, I have an issue of another EXP agent. Charlotte Lewis is always coming up first. She's doing something that you're not doing, Charlotte. Do do something different. Add 150 and, photo images. Yeah, exactly. And by the way, one of the things I do is I look at the competition. Go look on your area and look at someone's profile. And, and a lot of the top three, some of them in some areas aren't really even doing that much. So okie dokie. So we're going to move on here. I am watching the time because I do want to show you how to set this up. Who wants to be daring? I'm going to do a quick review of someone's Google profile, and I'm going to be brutally honest. <laughs> Anybody? If not, go to mine. But really? I don't sell homes. What do you, no, really? No, re, like live Nobody. active real estate agents that want to do it? And somebody said, how do you, what do you do if an angry friend or relatives gives you a fraudulent review? You can dispute it with Google. And if it's within, you know, like whatever, you know, three to six months, if it's wrong, Google will remove it. All right. So does, are there any Nobody agents? Here. Nobody wants that. They're a newer, they're newer agent. Okay. Here. But this is, this recording is going to go out to all of Thrive. So Well, how, so, so the first thing is, um, well, you can pull is, up, you can pull up the team. There's a team name, Treasure Davis. Hold on one second. How do we do that? No. Treasure Davis. Because you and I can spend time on mine at, at another time. Treasure Davis, Colorado Springs. Treasure. Uh, U R E. Yeah. Well, hold on one second here. And then the other question is, is when you're on a big team and you have your own Google profile, then what? Did I get it? Yep. Colorado Springs. Okay. All right. So okay team name this is good i like the exp i would take out brokered by unless there's a legal reason i would take this out the name is a little lengthy okay so that's my only thing to say about that um moving around along we're going to go through this here real quickly now i'm not going to count all the pictures but i'm just going to scroll down i'd say there's about 30 pictures there okay so so there you go on that so definitely more pictures um, I mean, it really, yeah, this is you guys, here you go. This is perfect. And they don't all have to be like this, but all of this is, is good. I mean, if you have any, if you have any kind of physical location, I think it's good too, even though you're, you're virtual, like even from your Regis office or, you know, any EXP kind of brick and mortar thing, I think it would be a great idea. So more pictures on that. Um, okay, let's look at the Google reviews. Wow, lots of Google reviews. She's like one of the top teams in Colorado Springs. Okay, um, there you go. So she's doing it perfectly here. She's answering, right? Getting, wow, she's really working the reviews. This is like, there's like nothing wrong here. <laughs> Yesterday, they okay. also said, if you want someone to give a review and you took a picture of them in front of the house, you can say, hey, can you, can, would you mind giving me a review and adding this photo of you? I have a whole strategy for getting reviews that work okay. well. It's a, it's a challenge to get reviews, I will tell you, but you, you basically offer an item of value. It's just like I'm saying, and, and, you know, enter people into a monthly drawing, leave me a five-star review. And I'll enter you into a monthly drawing. Boom, boom, boom. That works really well. Uh, but the reviews are good. I, I, and this is just my opinion. I just don't like this. That's just my take on it, though. 
It's I think she easy. has an ISA answering. Yeah. But it just seems virtual. It seems virtual to me. And that's whatever you guys want to do on that. Okay. Um, appointments. Let's see what you got here. Okay. So that's good. She has it uh, onto her contact form. So this agent's doing like everything right except the pictures, she needs more pictures. Um, okay, so that's all good. What else we have going here? Okay, so one thing I can't see are the service areas. So that's something that I'm not sure, and she's even doing postings, wow. This is a really good one to look at to see most of it's right. So this is what you guys should be doing with the postings for open houses. So this agent is probably on page one in most areas, it would be my guess. And you guys, people like this that are doing things right, you should be following them on social media and you yeah. should see the structure of their posts, all the hashtags and stuff, copy them and then put them in a post and like make them your, make some hashtags of your own, but do what people are doing. Don't reinvent the wheel. Yeah. Yeah, so so this agent's really doing everything right, other than the pictures and you know being, me being picky on the hours. It and all she's probably going to sell over five hundred homes this year, maybe more. Yeah, so that was a great example. Um, and so, what's her market area of oh, Colorado Springs? Okay, so let's just try this for the heck of it. I'm surprised she doesn't have Denver there because. Um... She probably covers all of Colorado. Real estate agents near. Near Colorado Springs. She popping up there? I don't see her, but I see Jeff Johnson, yeah. which is like the number one or number two. Go back up. Yeah. Oh no, these these are these are the paid ones. So we're not gonna look at those. So these are the three that are in the top three. And you know, for all I know, they they might be doing some other things that she's not doing. Right? Mm -hmm. Like she might not have that as a service area. I can't see that part. All right. So that just kind of you know, she's doing mostly everything right. Let's go ahead and move on. I want to show, make sure I have enough time to show you how to set this up. But, oh, no. Not that. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Where are we? Okay, set up your Google business page. Doom, doom, doom. Uh-oh. Okay. So, you can take a picture of this if you want. Just go to business.google.com or you can Google Google business page. And I'm going to walk you through this with this little video here. So what you're going to do, you're going to put your name in. Okay. Now, for those of you that uh, have one set up already, I'll show you that in just a moment. So just roll with me here. Okay, so there's your business name and you're gonna click continue. And then you're going to select service business right down here. And then you're gonna put in your business category. Just start with one category to get started. Okay, um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me real estate agent, you can go back and add more categories later. Okay, this is super important. These are your service areas. So this is where I see a lot of agents miss the boat. So the agent that we just looked at in Colorado Springs, she might not have her service area set up. That's one part I can't see. So put in your core service areas. I put in the county. So in this one, I put in San Diego, and then I start putting in surrounding cities. And seriously, you should have maybe, I don't know, it depends on your area. You might have 20 or 30. So don't just like stop at, you know, at like two or three, fill it out. And that's where your phone number goes, right? Can I ask a quick question? What about people that moved like their hometowns, Texas, and now they're in a new area, 
but people, they can get referrals. Should they be saying Texas when now they're living in Maryland or areas that they have a lot of sphere? You could set up a different page. I have multiple pages in different areas as long okay. as you can get verified. Okay. If you're working like a completely separate area, that would be the way to do it. Um, and, and with that, if you came from a different brokerage, let that one just leave it there. <laughs> Might as well just leave it there because it could still be, uh, you could still collect leads on it. All right. So your phone number, yeah, make sure it's textable. Wait, so you're saying they can't just change the brokerage name? They started. You could page? do that. You could do that. I've left mine sitting. I've been in several offices and I have like three or four pages out there all collecting, all, all coming back to me. So I leave them. It's personal personal uh, opinion on how, you, how to do that one. Like I, I was in, th I trained in three offices in the San Diego region. I just... I just left all the pages for all the offices. It's really, it's what I call getting your unfair share. It's grossly unfair, but you know, people, uh, they go to that office and then my name comes up and the leads come to me. So, all right. So right here is where you're gonna put your website address so your phone number and website address and get that all filled out, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and click next. So you just, it just really leads you through. Oh, I think I messed up. It knew, it knew, this was just a dummy one, just so I could kind of walk you through it. So we'll let that go. Jeff, while you're putting that, I wanna give you a shout out from Ashley Galladay and our Jean Frederick group. She said, I'm so mad I missed it. I promise I'll be at the next one. Y'all, Jeff is the real deal with tech. He's an OG. I've known him since 2010. She's basically telling everybody that they need to be watching your training and you're the real deal. So you guys, Jeff knows all the big boys and this is valuable information. So thank you. Yeah, I've known Ashley for a long time. So this will put you on the map. So just, you know, guys, once you go there, you just kind of work through it. I'm just showed you the nuances, right? And so we're going to click continue. And now it's going to, you're going to, it's going to ask you for your street address. Okay. So this is where the rubber meets the road. Now I'm going to, let me give you a different option that I don't like. You can register it and not show an address, not be on the map. You could put your home address in there, but you won't end up with a marker and you can get verified just like that but I think it's important to have the, the marker on there. So your, your Regis locations are the way to do it. All right, so you're gonna put the location in with the suite and whatever, all that fun stuff. And I'm just kind of skimming through here. And then right now it says verified, blah, 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 Jeff Kale Realtor. I'm gonna click next. And now you can add your services. And by the way, you can always go back when you first do it, you know, just choose a couple and then go ahead and click next. There's your business hours. Fill that all out. And then it's gonna ask you for your holiday hours somewhere down there. Click next. Accept messages, yes. Turn on call history. I just turn all this stuff on, okay? Okay, so this is your about, make it count. They don't care about us. They wanna know how you can get them a great deal on a home or, or help them sell their home for more money with a quick call to action, okay? They, they, they really don't care what your hobby is. <laughs> There you go. All right, and click next so that you're about. And this is where you're gonna add your photos. Let's talk about this. So <clears throat> you're adding your photos. Just add a few to get cooking when you first get it going. Don't load the whole 150 at once, okay? So you're just gonna add whatever you're gonna add. 
And then you're going to click next. I click skip. I would skip that advertising and then continue. And then they're either going to send you a postcard or they'll inform you of some other way that they're going to verify you. Sometimes they'll verify you on the spot. Like if your phone number was already pre-registered with, uh, you know, like Jeff Kale, EXP Realty. Ooh, did you like the sound of that, Tanya? Jeff Kale, EXP Realty. <laughs> um, then they would I mean, just I do. I don't that. know about you, but. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? But, it, but see, that's where that phone number comes into play. But if you're not registered that way, they, they want to make sure that you're not some kind of scammer. Now. Google just changed things here too, guys. The way that you update your information is completely different. You, you, you need to be logged into Google. By the way, all this, I forgot to mention this. You need to be logged into Google, okay? So use your Google login while you do this, okay? And then you're gonna see this right here. This is a new interface. And, and so what I do is I'm gonna walk you through this interface. Let's go here. Uh, oops, I clicked the wrong button there. Okay, let me go back one. Okay, so right here, this is how you're gonna edit your profile. So if you already have an existing profile, you're gonna go here. And then here's all of these little areas where you can edit a profile. So here, let me just stop right here. So don't worry about getting it all up at front, right? If you're just setting up, don't just get it going. You can change your contact, your location all through here. So that's kind of cool. Your hours and all that, you all update it right here. And then what you want to do is I would upload your photos here. Let me show you this. So right here where it says, see photos. That's what I've been using uh, right now. So here's where you can load your logo, cover photo. Remember the call to action video right there. Okay. And Jeff, and that, we are close to two minutes. Yep. Okay. Uh, thank you. Oh, I see that time flies when you're having fun. All righty. So with that, uh, I do, I do have a, okay. So first of all, I like to be a resource. You can set up all, you don't need me to set this up. You can do this yourself. If you want uh, our team to evaluate all of your tech, we do have a special, it's $99. You can take a picture of this. And what actually what you get is you get a 45 minute live session, one-on-one -on -one with me. And I evaluate all your tech. We do it on a digital whiteboard, look at everything. You get 30 minutes of live coaching with Michael Tridhart, my business partner. He's the Google master. Okay, so you get both of us. I evaluate your tech. We do a digital whiteboard map. That's $99. And we get people to page one of Google all the time. That's exactly what we do. Um, and by the way, for those of you that are recruiting, it, this works for recruiting in a very big way. I personally brought on more recruits than most brokerages did single-handedly. 74 recruits last year myself, all by doing this. So it works for real estate. It works for recruiting and everything. And with that, um, I think we're out of time. Do you, uh, you want to take a question or now? Or? We can do one question because I have another um, call. Okay. Um, why don't you, okay, so this is actually, so this is his, his, um, phone number, you guys, and email, um, Jeff, you are such a valuable resource. Um, I would love to talk to you more on what other, like, as it relates to this and pulling this all together, um, uh, what we, what you can do to, you know, help realtors with tax. So I'd love to have you help with that. Um, what are the top, real quickly, what are the top, uh, the other top three services that you provide if people need help with tech? Well, we do, we do websites, we do training uh, and, and, you know, training and coaching. That's technology training and coaching. That, that's what we do primarily. Uh, we have a Google review system. We can help pull reviews in. Actually, we pull reviews in from 
Zillow, Google, and Facebook all automatically and help collect reviews. We have a system you can plug into KV Core just for that if you, if you don't want a website. I love it. You guys, yeah. what I think for $99, if you're really challenged with all of this, you know, hold off on the Starbucks and the eggnogs that are going to add up to $99. Um, and I would invest in this in something like this, right? This is a foundation of your business. You're not going to buy leads from Op City, from Zillow, from all these things. Like get this right. Get your Google profile right so that you have this system that's feeding you leads without doing it the hard way. So I'm not trying to say you guys have to do this or spend any money, but I'm just telling you, if you can get this right and get on a call with him for $99, that's like, I don't know. That's like highway robbery. Um, can I say something just real quickly? Yeah. I got to say this. I could get, look, the real estate market is freaking crazy in 2023. NAR says there are going to be less transactions but there is so much opportunity. I started in the worst market in history. Go out there, it's a skills-based market, bring people to you, learn how to close the sales. Tanya helps you with that. And you can have a phenomenal 2023. Don't get into this head trip that people are whining and, oh my gosh, the sky is falling. No, you can go out there and kill it for 2023, so. And guess what? Wealth is built in down markets, you guys. This is the market for it. You guys got to keep showing up to these classes. And the one thing I will leave you with also is you got to get comfortable with tech. I like literally have, uh, that's my biggest downfall. And that's why Jeff and I are talking. That's why I asked him to come on. We got to get comfortable with tech, but you don't need to do it all yourself. That's why we have people like Jeff. Jeff, what are your parting words? I think that's just, just, you know what, take a little time off and, and, you know, do your business plans and all, and just look forward to 2023. I think it's going to be a great year for real estate agents. Yes, me too. Yeah. You guys take some time off and just like really lean into this stuff and book Jeff sooner or later. Um, so you guys can get that off and running. So Jeff, thank you so much. And we will have you back on. I hope this was valuable right. to you guys. All right. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye. Okay. Talk to you soon. Thank you. That was great. Thank you guys so much.